James Crazy. That's me! Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Tony Hawk's Underground 2. We are gonna head off... Get away from me, you creepy little bastard. We are going to Australia in a moment here, but before we do, I need to make a correction. Here in Berlin, I said that the destruction event for this level was smashing up all the windows in the gallery. While that is technically a destruction event, it is not THE destruction event. Because I missed this little thing tucked away in the corner, just completely forgot about it. We have this elevated train track along the side of the level, and a tunnel with the giant billboard above it, and a yellow and black rail on the side of it. We need to get up there and grind that rail. So let's just come over here, and we're just going to jump over. So yeah, uh, a little bit more significant compared to smashing up some windows. You see we shave off the front of the bar here, get a look inside of it. We have a freight container that came off the train here. Some, some beams, some scrapage over here, some smashed columns. So, yeah, nothing that needs to be done for any goals or gaps or anything, but I'm trying my best to show everything off, and that one I just just totally forgot about. So, yeah. Anyway, we are now going to head to Australia. Oh, man, Thailand was out of control. Now we can own Australia because BAM's team missed their flight from Bangkok. They passed out on a boat and wound up in India. You just need to get cranking on these tricks. So here we are, Australia, getting our goals here. Um, you know, a lot of the previous levels, there were these little touches that definitely made it feel familiar. Like, oh, this is definitely this place. But Australia, it doesn't really feel like they did too much to make it... Oh, never mind. But no, seriously, um... You could tell me that this was California or like any kind of like beachside area, and I'd believe you. There, there isn't too much to make it really feel distinctly Australian. Like, I don't know what they could have done for it. You know, I don't know what unique architecture or whatnot Australia has compared to any other Western civilization. Um, I mean, you could skate around the Sydney Opera House. That would actually be really cool. I kind of wish they had done that. Skate around the Sydney Opera House. We're not going to do that. So, be disappointed with me. Um, we're going to go with Mike V today. I, I never really have any reason for why I choose who I choose. It's just um, who I feel like I want to pretend is my best friend for the day. And today, I'm feeling Mike V would be a good friend. Anyway, we start out here underneath this bridge, so there isn't too much to see, but there are a couple of little subtle things that they threw around the level to try and make it feel more distinct, make you really say, oh yeah, this is this is definitely Australia. Don't know how well it works, though. But anyway, we are going to start off with a couple of gaps here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, now it definitely feels like Australia. I'm sold. Good job. Okay, no, uh, back on track here. We're doing a couple of gaps. We are going to grind this ledge here. And then jump over the bridge to get ledge hop. Jump, drop down in a grind on the lower ledge for ledge drop. Then we are going to deliberately stop up some traffic here. There's a guy wearing a Crocodile Dundee hat. And no shirt. 
<sighs> There's a door. There's ramps on either side of the door. So a little transfer there gets us the good day ramp to ramp. There's actually a few different places where you can get that. But that one's here, that one's now, that one's easy. Now we are going to grind this brass rail and jump over the stair set. We get from brass over 10. We still deliberately want to hold up this traffic. And we are once again facing this building. And there's Mike V. There's our best friend. Hi, best friend. Next to our best friend is a bay window that we're going to do a lip trick on. And we get the low bay window lip. Now with a low lip will come a high lip, so we're just going to chase down this car and skitch it. Because we need to build up some speed in order to get the high bay window lip. So there we go. And there we are. And now we're going to turn back around, deliberately stop the car to get set up for a car hop. Now we will go over here, and here is another guy wearing a Crocodile Dundee hat and some kind of snake or alligator pants and a little vest. It's totally Australia. This is what, what everybody dresses like in Australia, correct? Wait, one second here. One second. Okay. So we're going to do this arcade machine. And as we do our score, we're also going to do two other goals at the same time. Let's make things a little bit difficult, right? So the arcade machine high score, we need to get over 600,000 points. As we are doing that, we are also going to do the boardwalk grind combo. There are three rails along the boardwalk. We need to grind them all in a single combo that's worth... 300,000 points, so kill two birds with one stone. And then, towards the end, we are also going to drain the tide pool. There is a tide pool. Look at it. We're going to drain it by grinding that big old electrical box there. So, yeah. A lot is going to happen very fast. I'm going to do my best to explain as we are speeding along with a one-minute timer doing all this stuff. Bear with me. Okay, we're going to head down towards the beach area and build up some score and multiplier along the way. Hit the first boardwalk rail. Let the momentum carry you instead of jumping off so you can land in a grind on that chain. Then jump off and hit the second boardwalk rail. Got a couple of ramp transfers here, the high to low, and then the low to high. Slow things down, get that kink at the rail to kick you up, land in a grind on the edge of the lifeguard tower. Here is the third and final boardwalk rail. Jump and cut the corner, head in this direction, get a sticker slap to change direction and build up your momentum so you can jump, land in a grind on the edge of the pool for coping jump, then hit the yellow rail there and grind the electrical pump to drain the tide pool. And that's a lot done. We got 2.5 million points and 14 seconds left. Going to do a lip trick on that rock for rock lip. And we're going to race against time to get up here for a couple more gaps. Rail to rail right here in that parking lot area. Boom. Build up that speed, hit that higher quarter pipe, and grind it towards the pool, just like you did with the lower quarter pipe. Clear that jump to get the big coping jump to complement the regular coping jump. And a lot has gotten done. Beautiful. That was very nice, very clean. And we get a text message. And I, I certainly hope it has not aged horribly. Oh, it has aged horribly. Moving on. While we're down here, we're just going to follow this path, the lowest path next to the beach here, all the way to the end. There is our shrimp vendor. Runs off into the bathroom. We're just going to follow this stranger 
into the bathroom, as you do, and we come back out on the higher level near the arcade machine where we started. There is our Crocodile Dundee friend again. Now, while we're up here, we have one more gap that we're going to do, and it has to do with this crane. We need to get kicked up by the edge of the crane and hit a grind on that in sign there. So let me try to get set up. Because you have to... you you got to go straight at it like a missile. There we are. Crane bolt. Anyway, about this crane. There's a guy sleeping in it, and we need to figure out a way to wake him up. Now, naturally, the way that you would do this... How is anybody supposed to get anything done around here? When that jackass is sleeping on the job. Somebody needs to give him a rude awakening, mate. That leaky hydrant over there may be of some use. That pretty much says it all. Do a not a spin on here for a few seconds. There we go. By the way, that is the head of Kenny the Koala, and that is the body of Kenny the Koala. Camera's acting a little weird there. That is a reference to Kenny the Koala, a character that we met in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, at a level that also apparently took place in Australia. So that was the first half of the destruction event for this level, and... What happened was they smashed down the wall to the Outback Tours. Apparently, you know, the Aboriginal civilization has just been completely walled off from, from everything. And there is our special guest. And it kind of feels wrong. Kind of feels a little racist. I don't know. I can't say for sure. But it feels wrong, doesn't it? It's just an aborigine and a little go-kart. It just, you know... I Maybe I'm just overreacting. I don't know. But we will be revisiting this section eventually. Pretty, pretty soon, actually. For now, we will just head back out. And our special guest will now be waiting out here for us to switch to. A couple more gaps. We have this grass that we're going to jump across and land on the concrete down here, or the tile, or what have you, the slab. Get TC's Grass Gap. TC, a very popular gap maker in the Tony Hawk series. Now we come over to this building, and we just get launched up off the kicker here, and grind the edge for the archway roof tap. Finally, we're going to grind this quarter pipe in this direction, and land on that barricade for the nine-point landing. And then while we're here at this little mini ramp area with a screaming snot-nosed kid, we need to get, I think, 175 points. 175,000 points in a single combo, and it must include a lip trick. Just the one. So we just build up our score, our multiplier. Oh. Didn't hit the lift trick like I wanted. There we go. And that takes care of that. Look at him go. What happens if I just try to get right in front of him? Oh, he's invincible now. Uh, well, I did manage to smack him that one time, so that's good. Moving on, we have another gap that we're going to do here. This time we're grinding the barricade in this direction. We're going to slow it down, make sure that we hit this lower rail here, and you get the 10-point landing. 
I like to turn my board sideways to guarantee that I will actually connect with this rail. Most of the time, if I don't do that, I will completely miss it. So that's all done. We are going to turn back around and take our little teleport bathroom. Teleport a potty, if you will. And we will switch over. No, we won't. That's a lie. We will switch over eventually. Pretty soon. But we have one more thing left to do with Shred. And this can be a little bit difficult. Because the gaps that we've got here, we need to get kicked up off of this bus stop. Get air. And then land in a grind on the way down on this hotel sign here. In order to get bus stop hop. If you just shoot yourself up and land in a grind, like we did with Crane Vault, it will not register. So this can take a few tries, so I'm going to do a save state before we do it. Then after we're, we successfully get that and we're grinding our way down, we need to jump over to another ledge to get Balcony Hop. Okay, hopefully set up at a good angle here. There we go, and there we go. Like I said, you have to get that grind started on your downward arc from that jump, otherwise it won't register. But that takes care of that. Now we have one more goal. We have to interrupt a meal or six. Find a place where people are eating, see to it that the food starts flying. It's not very helpful. There's no hint to go along with it at the moment. There may be somebody to talk to that give some more explicit information. But yeah, place where people are eating. I don't see any food, but we're going to somehow make it go flying by walking into each of these tables. Or skating. Just as long as you knock the tables through. From here, got another ramp to ramp. We're launching over the street down here to get the big street cross. Now with all that done, it's a beautiful night, perfect night for a little bit of a drive, don't you think? I'll show you what a real Aussie can do. It feels wrong, doesn't it? It's not just me, right? Alright, now just like every other non-skateboarder, this sucks to control. We are going to actually start things off by hopefully doing the second part of the destruction event. This time, oh, excuse me, Mr. Cop Car, we need to hit a grind on the crane. There we are. We have helped the local skate rats, who are apparently shirtless Crocodile Dundee and a guy with a mullet wearing a thong. But justice has been served. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now we'll turn around and we are going to the Outback Tours. Now back here we have a goal that's kind of a pain to do. It's a little more frustrating than I wish it had to be. And that's due to the fact that we are on this piece of garbage go-kart thing. But we have the Paradise Combo. All we have to do is a single combo where we grind all the outer ledges. There's three ledge rocks that we have to grind in a single combo. Um, yeah. Kinda sucky. But it could be worse. So yeah, um, best advice I can give is just try to control your speed here. Don't don't get too out of control. I like to do a standing jump into a grind near the edge of this first ledge, 
and that seems to give me just the right amount of speed I need to hit the next two. And you can also fall back on doing a manual on the ledge in case you overshoot your grinding edge there. And that will count towards the combo. So if you do the combo on the ledge, that's the same thing as grinding on it, I guess. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, there we are. Perfect example. I have these two ledges here. You have a high one and a low one for this final ledge. And sometimes you can just hit wrong and fall short of the high ledge and overshoot the low ledge. Landed in a manual and it counted, so perfect. We're heading back out here. And this is a handicap parking sign. We apparently hate the handicap, so we're just gonna knock over every handicap sign that we see. I'm gonna go back over to this area. Come over here, and we're gonna jump over this wall. Hit the third sign right there. And now we're gonna do the final goal on our way to destroying more handicap signs. We need to do a 540 spin ramp to ramp over the bridge. We are. Got the footbridge flyover for it. You don't need to do any grabs or anything. It's just uh, second nature for me to always do some kind of grab or flip or something. And then here in the parking lot along the side there is our fourth no parking, handicap parking sign. And we just come down this ramp here. And there is our last sign. So boom. That takes care of that. We don't have to play as this character anymore. We just need to go over here and find our best friend, Mike V. There he is. Hi. Hi, Mike V. And next time, we will switch over to him and do his goals and then uh, go see our shrimp vendor friend who showed us his shrimp in the bathroom. So that does it for today. I will see you guys next time. All right? All right. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye. It really feels wrong, doesn't it?